The alleged rape of a 17-year-old girl in Hyderabad has sent shockwaves across the country. The minor went to a club for a party, was allegedly gang raped by a group of men inside a car. Police have identified five accused, out of which three are minors. One accused, Sadawdan Malik, has been arrested. Another minor's involvement has been confirmed, belongs to a politically influential family and will be arrested soon. India Today has also accessed the CCTV footage from outside the pub. A group of boys and girls can be seen outside. A political slugfest has also emerged with the Congress blaming the TRS government. The BJP is also demanding action from the police, saying that there has been a delay in taking action. BJP has also carried out a protest at a city police station in Hyderabad. So, based on the technical evidences, based on the CC footage analysis, based on the CDR analysis, our officers, they were able to identify five persons. That is corroborating with the statement of the victim. And within 48 hours, we could identify the accused. And today, we have arrested one of the accused. His name is Saduddin Malik, 18 years. He is a major. His father's name is Malik Gulam Saji. And he is a resident of Kupalkuda of Hyderabad. Unfortunately, a young girl has been abducted from a pub and rape has been committed on her by none other than the TRS and the MIM leaders' children. What's happening in Telangana? What kind of a lawlessness that is happening? But unfortunately, it's become a hub of drugs and pubs. Take action against them. Government never took an action. Police never took an action. If you look at the FIR, the conspiracy of the police and the government clearly amplifies. On 31st, the complaint was lodged. Today is 3rd. Three days are over. Even now, police has not arrested a single person. This Ashish is getting us more details on that story. Joining us from Hyderabad right now. Ashish, give us an idea about what does the police really intend to do given that they have identified the other three accused in this case. All of them are minors, but they haven't been arrested just yet. Yes, uh, Sneha. So uh, yesterday, uh, DCP West Zone uh, Joel Davis he holds a press conference. In the press conference, he uh, reveals all the details related to this horrific uh, gang rape crime uh, here in Hyderabad. Uh, he uh, revealed that uh, police able to nab and arrest one accused who is major. And uh, apart from uh, him, another major accused has been identified. Uh, efforts are on to nab that particular accused, major accused also. He also revealed that three of uh, three other accused in this gang rape are minor, and uh, among them, one belongs to a uh, TRS uh, party leader. Son, uh, TRS, uh, uh, his father is a TRS party leader, senior leader in TRS party. So clearly, police is, uh, intensif has intensified uh, investigation. But remember, uh, of course, uh, the BJP and the Congress both uh, mounted pressure, both uh, launched protests demanding justice for the girl, and uh, that led to finally uh, a late evening arrest uh, yesterday. Uh, so clearly, police is uh, has now uh, arrested one person, identified other accused, but the uh, question is being all, uh, uh, was raised that why this why was that delay? Because of the influential family kin involvement, yes, probably Ashish. because of that, uh, the delay was, that's what the allegation coming out from the uh, opposition party side. Ashish, we'll come back to you for more details on that story. Thanking you for the moment. Mandir and Masjid controversy is escalating in Karnataka. Well ahead of the Vishwa Hindu Parishad's protest, Mandir police is on high alert. Section 144 has been imposed as the fringe group threatens to enter mosque and perform puja. However, permission for any march or procession has been denied by state authorities. The protest is going to begin from Mandya to Jamia Masjid in Sri Rangapatna, Karnataka. Earlier, Hindu organization claimed that Masjid was built after Tipu Sultan raised the Hanuman Mandir. On the 2nd of June, the superintendent archaeologist has also requested videography of the east entrance of the mosque complex.
The Gyanwapi shivling tussle continues to peak. A Hindu series waded into this, throwing in challenge, essentially saying that they are going to be offering prayers at the mosque today. Permission to worship has not been granted. A massive standoff is expected with the police in Banaras, beefing up security at the Swami's house. Swami goes by the name of Swami Avi Muktesh Varanand, the chief of the Vidya Mat, who has warned the evil of a prayers at the mosque. A group of 71 people from the Sri Vidya Mat will also be accompanying the seer. Not just that, the seer went on to say that Gyan Bapi Mosque belongs to Hindus and must be returned to them. Going across to some news just coming in, the police stopped the seer at the Vidya Mat gate in Gyan Bapi. Massive police deployment at Gyan Bapi Mosque. Remember, we're talking about the seer who had promised that he is going to be offering prayers at the Shivling found in the Gyan Bapi Mosque. This, of course, is being debated right now, but the seer had said that he believes that this indeed is a Shivling and that he's going to be offering prayers and performing a puja inside the mosque. The showdown continues. As far as the Gyan Bapi complex issue is concerned, the police has stopped this year at the Vidya Mat. Listen in. Uh, Swami Ji, you have said that you have said that you have said that you have said that you क्या है क्योंकि अभी कोर्ट के मॉनिटरिंग में वो सर्वे हुआ है तो ऐसे में वहां कोई नहीं जा सकता ये पहले से अदालत ने कहा है तो आप वहां क्यों जाना चाहते हैं देखिए बात ये है कि वहां पर जब सर्वे कमिश्नर गए और उन्होंने जाकर के वहां का वीडियो बनाया फोटोग्राफ किए फिर एक रिपोर्ट उन्होंने लिख करके कोर्ट में जमा की इन सब में उन्होंने कहा कि वहां पर शिवलिंग दिखाई दिया वीडियो में भी साफ दिख रहा है जो कि लीक होकर के चैनलों पर दिखाया जा चुका फोटोग्राफ भी आ गए हम लोगों ने वहां के जो पुराने लोग हैं उनसे सबसे फिर फोन करके पूछा समझा सब लोगों ने कहा कि वहां पुराने शिवलिंग जो थे उन्हीं में से यह शिवलिंग है तो ऐसी स्थिति में जब हमारा शिवलिंग है जो कि पहले से प्रतिष्ठित था प्राण प्रतिष्ठा उसकी थी तभी मंदिर में पूजा होती थी बाद में उसको जब गिरा दिया गया और चीजें हुई तो वो प्रतिष्ठित शिवलिंग वहां पर है हमारे यहां नियम है कि किसी भी प्राण प्रतिष्ठित शिवलिंग में या स्वयंभू शिवलिंग में नित्य पूजा होनी चाहिए तो नित्य पूजा उनकी उनका अधिकार है भगवान का जिनको हमने प्रतिष्ठित कर दिया तो भगवान के अधिकार को कैसे हम वंचित रख सकते हैं उनको हम भोजन करते रहे उनके भक्त हो करके और हमारे भगवान भूखे रहे ये कैसे हो सकता है देवी Mohan Bhagwat's remark on Gyan Vapi has triggered a debate. The RSS chief has said everyone should respect the court's rulings on Gyan Vapi. He's also said that people should stop digging for shivlings under every mosque. His comments come even as protests are being held in many places to reclaim places of worship. Does Bhagwat's statement mark a change in the position of the RSS or is he being misinterpreted? Here's more. प्रतिकात्मक कुछ हमारी विशेष श्रद्धा थी ऐसे स्थानों के बारे में हमने कहा लेकिन रोज एक मामला निकालना ना या ये भी नहीं करना चाहिए हमको झगड़ा क्यों बढ़ाना है आरएसएस चीफ मोहन भागवत वेडिंग इन टू द ज्ञान वापी डिबेट द हेड ऑफ द संघ परिवार हैज मेड अ स्टैंड क्लियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस फ्रेश पिटिशंस वर फाइल्ड इन द वाराणसी कोर्ट बाय हिंदूज सीकिंग परमिशन टू प्रे एट द मॉस्क भागवत सेड द ज्ञान वापी डिस्प्यूट इन्वॉल्व्स इश्यूज ऑफ फेथ and the court's decision on it should be accepted by all aapas mein mil baith kar sahmati se koi rasta nikale lekin har bar nahi nikal sakta isme court mein jate hain jate hain to fir court jo nirnay dega usko manna chahiye even as petitions are being filed across the country to reclaim places of worship including monuments like the qutb minar bhagwat sounded a note of caution ज्ञानवापी के बारे में हमारी कुछ श्रद्धाएं हैं परंपरा से चलती आई हम कर रहे हैं ठीक है परंतु हर मस्जिद में शिवलिंग क्यों देखना यारिड दैट द आरएसएस हैड ऑलरेडी मेड इट क्लियर दैट इट्स पार्टिसिपेशन इन द अयोध्या एजिटेशन वाज एन एक्सेप्शन द बीजेपी व्हिच हैज लार्जली स्टेड अवे फ्रॉम द कंट्रोवर्सी हैज बैक्ड द आरएसएस चीफ देखो जो लोग अभी तक सुबह से शाम तक आरएसएस को बीजेपी को मोदी जी को पानी पी पी करके कोसते थे ये उनके लिए आईना है 
Bhagwat's remarks on Gyanwapi were welcomed by the Shiv Sena, which also claims to be a Hindutva party. मैं मोहन राव भागवत जी का जो बयान है उसका स्वागत करता हूँ कि दर दिन का झमेला बंद होना चाहिए नहीं तो देश देश नहीं रहेगा While Bhagwat has disassociated the Sangh from the growing number of claims on mosques, will it reflect on the ground? Bureau Report, India Today. India Today has accessed the exclusive CCTV footage that shows Sidhu Mosevala's killers fleeing in an auto car after abandoning the Bolero and Corolla in which they came and shot dead the singer. Here's a detailed report. Six days after the murder of Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala, India Today has accessed a video linked to the suspects. CCTV footage of two suspects in a Bolero car has emerged. This is allegedly the Bolero car that may have been used in the murder of the Punjabi singer. The footage shows suspects at a petrol pump in Fatehabad. India Today has also accessed another CCTV footage linked to the murder. This footage shows alleged gangsters fleeing after the shootout in a white Alto after abandoning the Bolero and Corolla they were in. In this video, both the cars used by the assailants, Bolero and Alto, can be seen. This comes after Goldie Brar, who has close ties to the Lawrence Bishnoi gang, admitted that he ordered the hit to avenge the death of gangster Vicky Midukeda. Sources say gangster Lawrence Bishnoi too has allegedly admitted to the cops that his aide is behind Musewala's gruesome murder. Bureau Report, India Today. In a killer admission, jail gangster Lawrence Bishnoi has confessed to killing Punjabi singer Sidhu Mozewala. Gangster Bishnoi confessed that one of the members from his gang got Mozewala killed on Sunday evening at Punjab's Mansa. Here is an India Today exclusive report. A 30-year-old dreaded gangster operating stealthily and fearlessly from Delhi's maximum security, Tihar Jail. Murder, extortion, robbery. Lawrence Bishnoi has more than two dozen cases against him. In a stunning admission now, Lawrence Bishnoi has for the first time admitted to have gotten Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala killed. Sources tell India today that Bishnoi admitted to his role in his statement to the Delhi police. Sources say Bishnoi has claimed Musewala was killed to avenge the death of rival gangster Vicky Midhukeda. Musewala's manager Shagan Preet Hand is suspected in the murder of Midhukeda last year. Lawrence Bishnoi's close aide and Canada-based gangster Goldie Brar too had claimed responsibility for the singer's killing, citing the same reason, avenging Vicky Midhukeda's death. Despite being jailed, Lawrence Bishnoi continues to run his crime syndicate from Tihar Jail with impunity. He's also allegedly involved in extortion from the liquor mafia. Bishnoi's gang is also known to extort money from Punjabi singers. He met Goldie Brar in 2009 and expanded his operations across India with the help of his aide, Sandeep alias Kala Jatheri. There are over 700 gangsters across the country allegedly working at this time for Bishnoi. With Lawrence Bishnoi and Goldie Brar allegedly confessing to Sidhu Musewala's murder, the investigating agency seemed to believe the singer was indeed a victim of a violent inter-gang rivalry. With Arvind Oja in Mansa, Punjab, Bureau Report, India Today. Two targeted killings in just one day. There is no end to terror attacks in the valley. The Home Minister has chaired a high-level meeting to review the security situation. The meeting was attended by the Army Chief, the NSA, Jammu and Kashmir DGP and the Director Generals of the BSF and the CRPF. The spotlight now is on the Modi government to act. Will this meeting trigger a massive response? 
A banker and now a laborer, two non-Kashmiri Hindus killed in a span of 12 hours in the Kashmir Valley. Hours after killing bank employee Vijay Kumar in Kulgam, terrorists attacked two migrant laborers from Bihar working in Kashmir. 17-year-old Dilkush lost his life in the attack. Vijay Kumar's final journey saw hundreds pay tribute to the bank employee. His inconsolable mother and devastated father demanding justice for their young son's death. Jammu and Kashmir has been rattled by a string of targeted killings in recent months. Eight people have lost their lives in the last 27 days in the Union territory, triggering panic among non-Muslims. And these are not random killings. India Today has accessed a full dossier that reveals how the plot to kill innocent civilians was hatched last year in Muzaffarabad in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. The intelligence alert scooped by India Today gives out precise details of Pakistan's Bleed Kashmir plot. A meeting of Pakistan intelligence agency officers with terror groups was held way back in September last year. A plan was then made at the meeting to target non-locals, Kashmiri pundits and security officers in Kashmir. And if any local civilians came in the way, so be it, that would be the cost of this jihad. Weapons were supposed to be smuggled through Uri and Tangdar. How many more innocent lives are at risk now that Pakistan's nefarious agenda, a familiar one, has once again been revealed? It's time to put a stop to Pakistan-sponsored terrorism and restore peace to the valley. And the government is on notice to deliver it as quickly as possible. With Arvind Ocha, Bureau Report, India Today. Eight people killed in less than a month in Kashmir. Fearing for their safety, Kashmiri Pandit, government employees are now packing their bags and leaving the valley to move to Jammu. Panic has gripped the valley, especially for minorities who are escaping danger after back-to-back -back targeted killings. Here's more. A sense of deja vu of the 1990s exodus. Fear has gripped minorities in the Kashmir Valley. With a series of attacks on Hindu minorities in the last one month, these families are scared that they could be next. Administration should take some step, but the administration has totally failed. You feel the government, is, uh... the government has totally failed in protecting the Hindus. I mean, Prime Minister, Home Minister is doing the promotion of a film now these days. He is not even uh, calling the. He has called a meeting today. Let us see what he uh, de decides and what steps he take. Yes, Kashmiri pundits who work as government employees are now packing their bags. They're all set to boycott the Kheer Bhavani festival, the biggest festival for Kashmiri pundits, where they celebrate harmony and togetherness, a theme that rings hollow amidst these targeted killings. Today, early in the morning, we reach it in this Sheikhpura migrant camp, which houses almost 230 Kashmiri Pandit families and is in fact one of the biggest migrant or we can say transit camp for the Kashmiri Pandit government employees in Kashmiriwara Kashmiri Pandit, you reside here since 2010. What compelled to these all families to migrate from here? The migration has been started. Five or six families already migrated from this colony. Now more are starting. We are ready to move from here. Along the Jammu Srinagar Highway, families were seen taking all their belongings and fleeing, not sure when they will return again. 
राहुल भट्ट की हत्या के बाद आतंकवादियों ने और भी जो है टारगेटेड किलिंग्स की आप देखिए मासूम बच्चे रो रहे हैं बिलक रहे हैं अभी क्या माहौल है कश्मीर माहौल तो बहुत टेंस है इसलिए बाग के आना पड़ रहा है तो अभी आप दोबारा जाएंगे बिल्कुल हमारे से तो अब हिम्मत नहीं है की हम वहाँ पे रहेंगे दो दिन से हमने कुछ खाया नहीं है कुछ नहीं कैसे हम खौफ में रहे हैं वहाँ पे कोई सिक्योरिटी नहीं थी और अब फाइनली हम यहाँ पे पहुँचे अब हमें थोड़ा सा लग रहा है कि नहीं हम सेफ जोन में आए थोड़ा सुकून है बिल्कुल है सर कश्मीरी पंडित्स फील बिट्रेड बाय द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड बाय देयर फ्रेंड्स इन द वैली सेइंग दोस हु बिलोंग टू द मेजॉरिटी कम्युनिटी आर साइलेंट ऑन द किलिंग्स चाहे राजस्थान का होगा हिंदू चाहे बिहार का हिंदू होगा चाहे यूपी का हिंदू होगा चाहे कश्मीरी पंडित होगा मरता है कश्मीरी पंडित ही और हिंदू ही गवर्नमेंट की कोई पॉलिसी ही नहीं है कश्मीरी पंडित के हक में मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि इसमें कश्मीरी पंडित ही थे मुसलमान भी मारे गए सरदार भी मारे गए लेकिन ऐसा लग रहा है कि कोई सरकार इस चीज की तरफ कोई तोज्जो नहीं दे रही है The spate of killings of civilians from Rahul Bhatt to Amreen Bhatt to Rajni Bala to Vijay Kumar. When will the killings end? Is the rallying cry in the communities here? And with these communities continuously under attack, the pressure is building, and the anger will not be subsiding. Home Minister Amit Shah. They are saying that he is busy with other activities and he has no time to listen to the grievances of the minuscule minority of Kashmir, that is Kashmiri Pandits. With video journalist Neeraj Kumar, this is Sunil Bhatt reporting from Jakti in Jammu for India Today. The report brings us to the end of this edition. For all news and updates, do log on to our website, that's India Today. dot in. You can also download the India Today app. Thank you for watching. are watching India today